Hey guys, my name is Austin, and this is my 1977 economy tracker. If you see my channel, you've probably seen some other videos of it. But this time I want to give a little review of what it's like to operate and, some, and go over some of the controls as well. One of the things that um, inspired me to make this video is that I've always um, just been intrigued and uh, wondered what it's like to, um, to operate different older machines that I see, whether that be in a magazine or on YouTube. Um, you know, when I see an old motorcycle um, or a tractor or a car or a truck, whatever that might be, I always go, I always wonder, um, you know, what is it like to drive? What is it like to be behind the wheel? And so I figured um, for anybody in my shoes that might be wondering what it's like to operate an old economy parking tractor, I would give uh, my point of view. Um, well, to start out, it's um, compared to other garden tractors and lawn tractors, it has a very heavy feel to it. So, for example, like when you go over bumps when you're mowing on kind of a rough lawn, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very smooth ride, it's a very heavy tractor, so it almost floats over bumps. If there's like a mole hole or something, it, um, it just floats right over it, whereas um, a lawn tractor or even a smaller garden tractor, you feel all the bumps a lot more. Um, so with this, it, it's just very planted and it, it, it's not tippy at all, it, it's just, it's, very, it's a very smooth ride, it's very heavy. Um, on the trans tunnel, it's a, it's a tall trans tunnel and because of that, it's, um, you, you kind of have to do a little gymnastics um, move to get on, on and off it. It's not something you just jump on and slide on and off really quickly. Um, I'll kind of show you what I mean. As you can also see, the steering wheel is off to the left side, it's off-centered, and because of that, um, it makes it, the, the offset steering allows it so when you're uh, plowing, you can look over your shoulder like this, and, um, and then also when you get on and off, you're kind of supposed to, I think, get on and off from the right side versus the left side because it's off-centered, and one of the things before I got this tractor was that I was a little concerned about... Uh, if I would like the, the feel of having a steering wheel off to the left side as it is on this one. And um, as people said on the forums and whatnot, it's something that you grow accustomed to really quickly. And, um, and I found it to be the same way. It's, it feels very natural. It's not something that bothers me at all. It, in fact, it almost feels like it's right in the center. It's not something that I notice at all. And I'll go over some of the controls now too. So to start it, um, you just have the key switch there, and this is the choke knob, or choke lever you pull out down there to start it. This is the front PTO clutch and throttle, that's the lights right there. And when you pull that it also turns on the back light right there. Um, this hydraulic lever lowers and raises the deck and the three point hitch. One well, of the funny things, if you go on uh, the Economy Power King uh, Yahoo group, they talk about these little pedals a lot because they're really hard to to push both of them at the same time. Just by the design of them, they don't. You you really kind of have to get your foot at just the right angle, and so a lot of the time, I just find myself kind of pushing just the right one. Sometimes it's unless you have your foot the right way to push both of them at once. Then this lever here is the parking brake. You lift it all the way up and then it presses both the levers at once to hold the rear brakes. And this is a three-speed transmission. That's the shift pattern. And if it had this uh, secondary transmission, that's where the lever would come out there. Someday I'd like to find one of those for it. But other than that, it's, it's, um, it's really simple to operate. It has all the operating instructions and stuff on here. When you sit up on it, um, you sit up nice and, and high. You have a nice clear view over the hood, which is kind of cool. That's the clutch 
clutch right here. But yeah, these tractors are pretty simple. There's not too much to it other than that. There is a fuel shutoff valve. The factory one is right underneath the, the fuel tank. You can't see it, but it's way under there. The steering isn't um, too heavy or anything. It's pretty light for the most part. You can usually just use one hand to turn it. But everything has just a, a strong feel to it. Nothing feels flimsy. Um, it, it does feel like a um, just like a real tractor, just the, only a lot smaller. But I hope that gives you a little um, impression of what it's like to operate. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.